good morning this rusty glove box here and what we're going to do today is uh just some odd and end stuff may work on the peterbilt lakester a little uh i've got a, another little project a guy gave me a little weed eater engine and uh so we're going to figure out something to do with that thing and i've got it to where it run pretty good the reason why he got rid of it is because he was sick and tired of uh repairing that rewind mechanism on it and uh, being that I'm a glutton for punishment, I told him I'd take that thing. I'd, I'd mess with it for a while. So let's get started. Some of you uh, see this little electric motor. You probably got a good idea what I'm going to do. You've probably seen them before already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a coupler and couple this engine to this electric motor. And I'm going to make a little generator. Uh, probably... What I'm going to end up doing, I got to put a diode in line. I believe I have one of those already somewhere here. And uh, that way, when I attach this to a battery, the battery voltage won't backfeed into the motor and try to run the motor. Uh, this is a little brush motor. And uh, when you turn it, uh, it will generate its own electricity at enough RPM. So. Well, this is my lathe right here, and I've, I've had it for a pretty good while. Uh, I really do need to do some serious cleanup on it, get all that surface rust off there. So here's our adapter. We've got five sixteenths hole on that end, quarter inch hole on there. So that ought to fit pretty good and not wobble bad at all. Well, I got the coupling here in the vise and uh, going to get ready to drill a hole. And uh, I have what uh, is called a number seven drill bit. That's what my chart said that I needed. And I was lucky that I had one. I'm, sh I'm sure I could have crossed it over to a, a fractional bit, but I, I did have a number seven. And it's a quarter by 20. That's what my set screws are. And uh, using that number seven, that, that worked out pretty good. Well, I was just gonna show you right quick what we made. Uh, drilled and threaded two holes, quarter by 20, quarter inch hole, five sixteenths hole, faced it off on both sides nice and smooth. Uh, set screws, going to screw in like that. So, uh, got a nice little coupling. Well, so right now, we've got that motor anchored to the engine, and uh, what I'm going to do next, I've got some of these little aluminum straps, and I was thinking somehow or another, I come off these studs and then come up here to this engine and uh, fasten it there. Well, I think maybe now you can see a little better what I'm going to try to do. I've got a mounting hole here and so now I can run that out like that and I can figure out where I'm going to bend my 90 and then this little mounting stud here on the motor that's where I'm going to anchor it. Well this is what I've got now. I've made it out of uh, some flat aluminum and I like working with it. Uh, it bends pretty easy and uh, one thing if uh, you know sometimes this aluminum is is uh, brittle uh, if you especially if you bend it and then you try to straighten it up sometimes it wants to crack so something that I'd learned a while back if you take a little propane torch and heat the aluminum uh, what it does it, it uh, doesn't get it hot like it like you would on uh, steel or something 
but it uh, relaxes the metal in there and it's not so brittle. Makes it a little easier to bend. I wanted to try to get this in here so you can see how this finally all ended up. Uh, seems like that part works pretty well. So it seems like for right now that's good. Well this so far is what I've got. Uh, I made this bracket. It has a saddle that the motor sits in. Made that part out of a piece of exhaust pipe and then brazed a bracket to it. Uh, here just made uh, some little angle iron mounting tabs out of the leftover piece of aluminum. The way I mounted it, uh, I drilled all the way through this plastic and used a quarter inch bolt. Drilled uh, through all three pieces, used three eighths nuts as spacers. They were the right, right thickness. And that way I could actually get some clamping, crushing pressure on this plastic. Uh, I tried it first without it and it just kind of started collapsing so I, I knew I was going to have to put a spacer in there after that. But it's uh, very rigid right now and I think that's that will probably be permanent the way that's mounted right now. building that little generator and I'd like to take it uh, one step further. I want to get a little small battery and put on it and maybe one of those little 400 watt uh, 110 power inverters. Put that on there. Uh, could actually generate some 110 that way. So uh, anyway this this went pretty smooth. Wasn't that hard to build and uh, appreciate y'all watching. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here. <laughs>